Hey guys and welcome to another episode of The Fad Show. So on today's episode, I'm going to be changing the oil in my uh, 2005 Porsche 911, 997. And I uh, just wanted to show you guys uh, how easily it is and uh, prove that these cars are not special. Um, well, they are, but at the end of the day, it is just a car. And even though this has a semi-dry sump uh, oil system, it is extremely easy to change the oil in them. And uh, as far as tools you're going to need, uh, literally pretty much all you're going to need is the 8mm uh, Allen key. Uh, to get the drain plug out. Uh, ideally, you get a torque wrench to put it back in, uh, but I guess technically you don't need one. And then something to get your oil filter housing off with, but you can get creative there. Uh, and then you're gonna need, as far as parts go, um, you need a new oil filter. I just bought this from the local Porsche dealership. Uh, so I think it's a Mali filter. Uh, it was the OEM supplier, but it doesn't say on here. Um, and then a drain plug crush washer. Um, definitely need one of these so you don't have to leak. I usually just go ahead and get the whole drain plug because uh, I've had trouble with these stripping before with just the Allen key and this is aluminum so it's extremely soft. I've actually removed one of these with a chisel before on a Porsche so probably not the tool of choice but because it's stripped I had to do that. Um, so that and then your oil 0W40 is what I'm going to run. You can run 5W40 as well um, but it's winter now so I'm going to be putting this in because it's a little bit lighter and then also trying to help my uh, variable valve lift system which still keeps uh, hiccuping sometimes on cold starts and uh, yeah it's pretty cheap to do all this I mean you can buy these online for probably 10 bucks or whatever and the crush washer sir I usually go to the dealership and they give it to you for free but you can order back of a bunch of these for next to nothing and then the oil is just whatever you want I mean uh, in the past when I came in I always ran mobile one zero to W40 and then you can buy at Walmart for a really cheap but this look at my eyes a little bit more expensive uh, but from the dealership, the oil filter is $25. I just happened to be there, so I ended up buying it uh, through them. So that was probably a little bit overpriced, but you can definitely get one for like 10 bucks. And then the crush washer, I don't know, next to nothing. You can buy them on Amazon. I think I've got them before, but I usually just go to the dealership if I'm in the area and they give it to you for free. They actually gave me this entire drain plug for free too. This time I went in there. Um, all right, I think that's it. Let's get to it. Another thing I forgot to mention is I went ahead before uh, this last fuel tank, before the oil change about 200, 300 miles, I went ahead and put some sea foam, uh, a full bottle in the gas tank, and then I did the appropriate amount for the level of oil in the car uh, in the crankcase to flush that out. Um, and I know there's some uh, argument on whether you should change the oil, hot or cold. A lot of people say hot's the best because you get more oil out. I don't really know. I start it up and heat it up so the oil pan gets to about 100 to 104 degrees and I think that's a happy medium for me where I don't burn myself and it flows pretty easily. The workshop manual has you remove the filler neck and remove the oil fill cap to act as a vacuum brake so the oil will drain out quicker. Drain the oil, the drain plug is an 8mm Allen key. I recommend getting the proper tool for removing the oil filter housing. Uh, mine was on extremely tight and was difficult to remove. Make sure to replace and lubricate the oil filter housing gasket.
oil filter housing is torqued to 25 newton meters, not 800 newton meters like the person that changed the oil before in this car. I love my new garage setup allowing me to look up torque specs and watching 80s Tarzan boy music videos. The torque spec for the oil drain plug is 37 foot pounds. I ended up adding seven and a half liters first and then popping up from there. It ended up being eight and a half liters total, which is exactly what the workshop, workshop manual said. Uh, while waiting for the computer to read out oil level, which takes 30 minutes, I took time to check my other fluid levels and check my tire air pressures. I also took the time to inspect my oil filter for medical particles, which happily there were none. Hey guys, so that's a wrap on this episode. I just want to prove to you how easy it was to change the oil uh, on your own Porsche 911 and uh, prove that these cars are really not that special, really not that precious. I will say the only real improvement item that probably would have made this go a little bit smoother is if I had bought the actual oil filter tool, not just used my uh, like oil filter wrench or whatever, because whoever put it on last time definitely went way over the 25 Newton meters. Uh, that was recommended uh, by Porsche. Uh, but that being said, overall, it's a pretty easy job. Uh, and I hope you guys liked this video. And if you really liked it, then uh, go ahead and like and subscribe and uh, stay tuned for more, more content. All right, thanks for watching, guys. Bye.